What's up, Air Signs? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back with your weekend vibes. So let's see what's coming in for the weekend vibes for Aquarius, Libra, as well as Gemini. Let's see what's coming in for Aquarius, Libra, Gemini for the weekend vibes. Okay, black butterfly. Somebody is receiving some type of misfortune. Okay. Or somebody was going through misfortune in the past, but it carried a message of guidance, hope, and optimism between beneath the wings. So this could be y'all energy. Like in the past, y'all could have been going through some black butterfly energy, like experiencing misfortune, but it was meant to teach you a valuable lesson and guide you to optimism. Okay. So it's like if y'all still had a if y'all still had, yeah, high level intellect. So a lot of you guys learned a lot from the misfortune that y'all went through in the past and y'all kept, y'all maintained or y'all achieved a high ass frequency of love. Okay. So it's people that hate you, but they love your energy because it's so like, they see that like you can go to hell and back and you will still be an angel. Like period. Cause they love God. So somebody hates your energy, but love you, or, like hate you, but love your energy because you bougie now. Okay, so no no more misfortune. It's like y'all get what y'all want because y'all learned what y'all was supposed to learn. Like I said, y'all misfortune, it brought y'all to a level of intellect. Like y'all really learned how to make it through the struggle and not let the struggle define or mold or define you. It's like, yeah. So it could be people that hate your energy that's low vibe, that's doing some type of criminal activity against you. But y'all got the divine protection of a grandmother energy. Guess what I'm seeing here? Y'all may have a new love coming in, air signs. This person wants you to show... This person want to show you a side to love that you never experienced before. And this could be a, a divine feminine, divine masculine dynamic. Don't have to be your twin flame. It could just be a divine, another diviner, Okay. Y'all got a body of a goddess, so y'all been working on y'all fitness, and y'all just loving the results, okay? Okay, so whoever this person in the past, you could have thought they was for you. This was a false, that was, this was even a, either a false relationship or a false friendship, but I'm definitely getting like, this person might have loved your energy, and that could have been a love that they showed you, but deep down inside, this person hated you, because it's like, because they are low life, they have a hard time overcoming the difficulties that you easily and effortlessly overcame. It might seem effortless to everybody else, you make it look easy, that don't mean it was. Just because you didn't complain about your problems didn't mean that you didn't have problems. You just was chilling, going with the flow, and knowing that it was something for you to learn through the misfortune at times. And that's the reason why spirit is granting you with new love and, and the ability to be able to spoil yourself or indulge. Because even in your lowest times, you still maintained the level of love. You still gave. Even if all you had was $2, you will see a homeless pe person on the street and you will share. You know what I'm saying? Like still, it's like no matter what struggles you went through in life, you didn't allow it to define you or how good you were to people. These people on the other end, it's like when they doing bad, they be hating on people, watching people with envy, feeling like they got to do criminal activity to get out of it. It's like you just organically evolved out of negative uh, situations and you didn't have to hurt nobody, bring nobody down or do anything illegal to get there. And so this is why this person really hates you, but they love your energy. This person could be struggling with a baby on the way. Okay. Yeah, so this could be somebody that you've been knowing for the past two years. You finally being recognized for your hard work and career advancement. Now, keep in mind, this is different things you've been working on. Some of y'all been working on y'all body and y'all finally being recognized. So y'all know how y'all be the first one to notice some inches coming off of that ass. But it's like people going to be telling you now, like, dang, you look good. Or, you know, making comments on your body or whatever the case is. Or even telling you, like, dang, you know, you could really tell. Like, it's it's paying off, love. You get what I'm saying? So, it's like y'all going to be getting a lot of confirmations this weekend as it pertains to some hard work that y'all been putting in. Okay? You can leave the breast hanging, but not me. So, this is somebody that hates you but loves your energy, feeling like you can't leave them behind. You're so angelic, you know, but this person may not like the fact that you're, they see you as a masculine person because 
you know, when it came down to your inner work, you could have stayed focused, okay? You may be nonchalant. You may not be overly emotional like they expect women to be, okay? So whoever this is, it's like because they low life, it's like they see you as an angelic being, but they also see you as... You know, it's like this person might have tried to break you down and mold you to be more feminine, but that's not how you, that's not how you create a safe space for somebody to feel comfortable being feminine with you. You get what I'm saying? You make somebody feel safe. You make them feel like they can be soft around you. If you put somebody in a uh, fight or flight mode, then they definitely not going to feel right. Like letting their guards down and just being beautiful and soft and flowing with that energy is kind of like they feel like they got to be on defense so somebody here may not understand that they saw this side to you and they didn't see the very feminine side to you because they put you in that energy with the energy that they're in okay this might have been somebody that you feel like you had to defend yourself against whether it was verbally spiritually physically or whatever the case is because this person is a low life okay so let's see what the criminal activity is I'm already seeing powder addiction at the bottom of the deck. So this person could have developed a dealer's addiction. It's like they could have been tasting the Coke and, you know, trying it out, trying out their product to see, you know, if it's the baddest on the block and now they, you know, fuck around and they got hella sugar boogers. Like, you know, can't stop this shit. Now I need a little bit for myself every time. Y'all Hispanic man or woman. A, uh, G H I J K. Yo, haters been hating for a lifetime. Spiritual baby. That can slapped into a triple spin by your ancestors. Okay, so this person could have used try to use your own ancestors against you. Some people just be going too far. <laughs> Why is the criminal activity here? Oh shit. Why is the criminal activity here for air signs? Could have been hate crimes for some of you. Let them fight their own battle. So now they might be trying to fight for their freedom, y'all. We've been picking this up. I wish people would hurry up and go to jail. What's taking so long? Shit. They've been going to jail for so long now. Unless it's just different people going to jail. Let's see. Criminal activity. Why is this here? Asian woman. Ooh. I feel like this person is mixed with Asian and Caribbean. Okay. Washed up. So somebody was trying to come up. Okay. That's the reason why they was doing committing crimes. Asian man or woman. I feel like this is a mixed Asian person. Blasian or something. Why is criminal activity here? Something fell on the floor. Hold on, y'all. Okay, so what is the criminal activity here, spirit? Why is criminal activity here? This person could have been doing chakra magic on you to block your chakras. So the criminal activity could be spiritual as well. Like they committing crimes or they breaking spiritual laws. This person could have blocked your chakras. I love someone else more. So this is somebody that chose somebody else. They could have chose somebody of a different race. And that could be this Asian person that I'm picking up on. I'm getting that this person set intentions for the new moon that did not work. So I don't know what this person set intentions for, but that's that. I mean, my thing is they could be telling that person now that they love you more because they all up in your energy. But I feel like at some point when they had an opportunity or a chance or a choice, it's like they could have chose somebody else. And they had rose tinted glasses. Like they may have thought that person was pure and angelic as well. Or whatever the case is. Or like there was some competition in you. I don't see y'all competing with nobody. I see y'all just kind of like, okay. You know, y'all going through certain things or whatever. But it's like y'all maintaining y'all light. Y'all didn't let something dim y'all light. And even if y'all did, y'all regained it back. Why is new love here for air signs? Why is new love here? Release work. Yeah, y'all release this individual. Making love in a dream state. Oh, yeah. Y'all new love is definitely spiritual. Strong spiritual connection is what I'm getting. You are planning to have a dream home 
and a royal bloodline with this new person that's coming in. So while this other person may have a baby on the way, soon after, y'all might be creating a royal bloodline with new love, okay? An actual royal bloodline. Why is baby on the way here? So y'all may be the ones that's having a spiritual baby because I did see that. Baby on the way, pulling out your darkest feelings, shadow work. Okay, so somebody not happy about this baby on the way. All right, confidence. But somebody else have confidence here. So yeah, here's the thing, y'all. <laughs> this, whoever this person is that's like uh, committing criminal activities, they like, they had rose tinted glasses when it came down to somebody that's a different race and they could be an Asian person. This person may be that type of person that red pill masculine energies that's like passport bros and you know, I'd rather have a Filipino wife or whatever. I don't know, but shit, who cares? It's like love is found in so many forms. I don't know why people be wanting people to be mad because i noticed that a lot lately like interracial relationships still wanted to be a big deal it's fucking not nobody cares about that shit anymore like we so used to seeing different races together at this point and everybody is basically like dating outside of their race like nobody is considering race when they dating anymore so okay great like you you got somebody that's a different race than you like why would that make anybody mad? Like, I don't know, but it's just be so irritating. I'm like, y'all, that's played out. Like, I remember when interracial relationships used to get hated on because my mom used to date a white guy. But, um, that shit ain't going down no more. It's like people want that to be a narrative so bad, and it's not. Like, black women do not care about men dating outside their race no more. That's just stupid because we are also doing the same thing. So why would we hold y'all back from things that we trying to do too? But anyway, y'all, I digress because I don't know. <laughs> like, but people need to get that through that thick ass head. Because I still be seeing people on TikTok saying stuff like that. Like, black women are so mad that I'm dating a black man. Like, we really do not care. And that's not to say that in a negative way. It's like, love is love. Love is freaking love. And that's how people seeing it th these days. Because they're not limiting themselves either. At one point, I feel like a lot of black women only limited themselves to black men. Now, black women is dating Asian men, you know, uh, white men, the Middle Eastern men. It's like women are dating outside of their race as well. So it's like it's not that big of a deal. People need to stop making it a big deal. Because not everybody is butthurt about people like exploring their horizons. OK, why is Asian woman here? Because I just want to see why it's even important. Auntie. This could be an older Asian woman on top of that. This person used to be fixated on you. Okay. They could be walking away from this person now. So my thing is, somebody here was confident that having a baby by this masculine was going to keep them. But this masculine, the illusion is being dropped. So maybe somebody was so confident that they stopped presenting themselves as the representative that they were presenting before so you know how you can get in a relationship and it's like you know i gotta be on my best behavior i'm about to pull out the best of the best you know like basically i'm about to i'm about to cook my best meals the ones that everybody love the ones that everybody request you know i'm about to um I'm about to look my sexiest. I'm about to stay in shape. I'm about to do this and that and that and this so that they can see me as the best option. Like, oh, hell yeah, this is the one I'm picking. But they confident now because they pregnant. And it's like, now, man, this baby pulling out the darkest, the darkest of the dark and it's causing this masculine to be able to basically see like all the shadow aspects of this feminine that they didn't see before because now this person feel confident to show their dark side because they pregnant. They feel like you can't leave me now, motherfucker. You know, so it's like <laughs> somebody here like, wow. Okay, this woman used to be fixated on you. Like, let me make sure that they not going back over there. But now they not. They not fixated on you no more. Okay, because they like shit. I'm confident now. Like, they just sit up there pregnant, belching, and not even giving a damn about the house, the cooking, they looks, nothing. It's like, you, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here like a mug. So you ain't getting rid of nothing. 
this could have been somebody that was a homie lover friend or somebody that you was your friend but it was like an underlying crush with them but either way they got new love you got new love i don't know what the problem is why is divine feminine and masculine here So y'all still in this warmth, protection, and motherly love type energy. So y'all might be kind of nesting or preparing y'all body for pregnancy or something. Because maybe y'all know y'all supposed to be bringing a divine child here. Divine, feminine, and masculine. So yeah, y'all. Oh, it's all your fault. You got me losing your pa my patience. What? What is that about? What is this all your fault? You got me losing my patience here for that's so weird. Somebody blaming somebody for something. Ooh, somebody, ooh, somebody blaming this person. Whoever pregnant with their baby, they blaming that person. Like, that was my divine feminine. It's all your fault. You got me losing my patience because now this person ain't looking back. See, they had, they was doing negative things with this person. But now, of course, they got to quit. Okay, so my thing is, if these two got together because they enjoyed the same, like, uh, addictions, like, they both like to pop perks, like, how you gonna pull up to the party if you get the perks? Perk 10, if you got the perk 10. It's like, they just, they was feeling it, like, yes, let's pop Skittles and, you know what I'm saying, drink Henny and stuff like that. You might not have been into that, but this person is realizing now the reason why they feel drawn to your energy, even though they could have been a hater or that person could have been a hater. And it's like, again, this person showed every best side to them to, to get this person to commit. All right, this could have happened two years ago. And now this shit just played. Like, it, didn't I just tell you I was about to be recording? God, I hate when I tell somebody that, then they call me. Like, it's giving red flag, like, distraction. Like, I need to block your ass. For real. Because I don't understand why you would call somebody that say that they recording. Like, that's weird. It's giving very much weird. Okay. Um, mm, I don't feel like we need to look more into this. I feel like it's a lot going on. You and somebody from the past, y'all both got new love. But this person got with this person under addictions. So this could have been like, damn, you know, this person is fun. They bring liveliness. You know, they don't judge. Like, they bring the perks to the party. You know what I'm saying? And now it's like this person can't do drugs no more. Both of them have to get over their addictions because somebody here is pregnant. So the masculine can't be walking around high because he don't want his baby mama or the person that's pregnant with his baby to be doing drugs. So they both got to get clean. And they looking at each other with sober eyes. Like, bitch, you ain't even all that. Neither the fuck is you. Like, you know, but it's kind of like, <laughs> we stuck together now, hell. Like, all them perks. And we thought, you know, we thought this was love. And this really was just some struggle love shit. Like, this really wasn't it. You know? And now this person, like, it's all your fault. Like, if you wouldn't have been keeping me high and drunk... Maybe y'all would have saw you for who you really are and left your ass in the alley. Like, but yeah, these two is at each other's throat now. I feel like without the addictions, without the addictions, you know. Okay, what else coming in for the air signs for the weekend? Fives. What's coming in for the air signs? Ooh, we. Okay. All right. Okay. Damn. Hold up, y'all. Let me sage this because it's the same energy that's coming out for fire sign. All right, y'all. Energy should be cleared. Let's see. All right, what's coming in for air signs for the weekend? Fives. But y'all, again, it's just looking like you and somebody from the past moved on. Or you and somebody that you had an opportunity with in the past, y'all both moved on. It's like this person moved on. They could have moved on up to two years ago. Or they could have uh, chose somebody that they knew for at least two years or something to that extent. But it's just coming off like either y'all had a brief chance or y'all had no, y'all didn't even get a chance. 
But now this person is like blaming the person that they chose. It's like, you know, but really, <laughs> you know, they, they was just drunk in love and now that they sober because they ain't got a choice but to be they don't see each other the same and for some of y'all it could be y'all okay because i'm seeing two couples here all right and one person that feel like they missed out on a divine feminine because they was too they was too like taking recreational drugs and too high in the sky y'all was too busy preparing maybe this person felt like okay you put in your work before some of y'all could be teachers like y'all could actually be teachers of young people okay but others of y'all y'all could be like a yoga instructor a meditation instructor a guru something to that extent but y'all was busy preparing is what i'm seeing here preparing for a foundation preparing for a union and maybe you felt like certain things that you had to y'all this energy just keep coming the fuck out uh but maybe you was preparing and you just couldn't be distracted by trying to compete for this person so they chose somebody else and this person could have been really fun i mean let's just keep it a book like you know at certain points in our life we gonna see certain things as fun and certain shit is boring you know, all the spiritual people, we enjoy the shit that we do. It, it make us feel good. It make us feel at peace. We don't feel like it's a bore. Yeah, it's like this. Y'all was from two different worlds, okay? The secular world and the spiritual world here. And it's like now they could be blaming somebody else because they feel like this person put up distortion. But now they ready to come in and be like this teacher energy too. Or for some of you masculines, you are the teacher. And it's like now you're ready to prepare for your journey. But you might feel like the person, somebody that you haven't talked to since autumn season. Okay, so September, October, November. Uh, like you want to talk to now that it's springtime. Okay. Damn. Okay. So it is a masculine that's truly blaming this karmic feminine because they feel misled. And my thing is you might not even for the masculine that I'm talking to or about that masculine may not even be blaming the person that they with. They could be blaming somebody that advised them to go with that, that, uh, option. Okay, it could be that this person is blaming a feminine energy that they felt like, you know, uh, abused their power or something to that extent and convinced them to go with an option that wasn't for them. And now this person realized that y'all apart, you and the person that they had to choose between is a part of two different worlds. So what is giving me is that you are a part of this person's North Node and the person that they ended up choosing to have some longevity with is a part of their South Node. So now that all of the drugs and the games and this and that is played out to this person or that they can't do it no more because they about to become a parent. They realize that they, uh, yes, y'all, I'm telling you, it's something significant about children. And it could be both y'all having children now. Okay, y'all may not be pregnant right now, air sign feminines, but I feel like air sign masculines could have somebody pregnant and they could feel like it's the wrong person. And now they feel like they were supposed to be the architect. Like they were supposed to. They were supposed to build with you guys. It's like, damn, this the one that was supposed to be by my side. Like this person could have got like a past life reading or just had a dream or deja vu. And it really brought forth some information that's making them really pissed off. Because it could be two children being brought into this world. One into a karmic relationship and one into one that's going to grow a divine bloodline. Maybe spirit had to replace this person with somebody new because this person went and started the lineage with someone else. So they missed the opportunity. Libra, I could be talking to y'all because I'm seeing balance here. But it is definitely a match, an intellectual match. King and Queen of Scrolls. So maybe both of y'all are art, authors, teachers, vloggers, speakers, something to that extent. But it's something here about intellect and y'all stepping into y'all intellectual power. One of y'all could have stepped the other one into that intellectual power. Because it looks to me like he thinking, like he watching her. She already working. And she already working in her shit. So you might have came into this person's life to help them step into what they supposed to do. And now this person is intrigued by you and they pissed off at a feminine energy that they feel like misguided them. Okay, somebody definitely got some shit going on. Okay, Libra, y'all might have some legal issues going on here. Somebody was being called to be more diverse. Okay, so feminine energies, you guys, y'all energy is coming back to y'all now. Something y'all been preparing for. Y'all about to see some 
something happening from it, okay? Masculines, y'all seem a little bit newer in y'all journey, and y'all might be facing some struggles, but at least y'all coming to some type of realization, all right? So let's see, what else? Okay, what else is coming in for air signs this weekend, y'all? So this masculine going through it, about to be a father, facing legalities. Y'all want to come in and speak to you, okay? Y'all, they feel like they missed the opportunity because they wouldn't let go of their past or they wouldn't let go of past baggage. So this could have been somebody that was in and out of their life and they finally chose that person. So you know how it be sometimes. It's like make up to break up. You know, but it's kind of like, you know, you hold a special place in my heart type vibe, you know. And so it could have been a very immature connection. But like I said, South Node style. You get what I'm saying? So it's like before your Saturn return, before you figure out what you really want, this person is it for you. Now this masculine going through an awakening and they trying to drop baggage, but they feel like you lost your patience for them. Okay, and, and you missed the opportunity and it's like you giving a child to somebody else and this person is furious, but they giving a child to somebody else too. Okay, so y'all lives are kind of mirroring each other, but at the same time, this person is in a position that you was in possibly two years ago. It's like this person got, it's like a two year gap in between y'all awakening or longer maybe, okay? Because you could have been in your shit for a minute when this person first met you, but you were still preparing to teach. So you still was in a, a level of research and self-discovery when you met this person. And they could have been like, boring. Like, I like to pop pills, drink, and go out dancing. And this is what this is what Shorty do. And she just fun her for me. Like, you know, and y'all like, okay. But now this person facing legalities and stuff because they've been doing criminal activity, uh, you know, doing things impulsive because they high and drunk. Y'all, you got two masculines here. One that love you and one that's ready to commit to you already. They don't got to do nothing else. But somebody here is gaining the enlightenment that they need to free themselves from a situation. They seeing things from a different perspective. Right side up. You get what I'm saying? Like, this person could have been seeing things distorted because they was always inebriated, Okay. Because that's, you know, that's what was the glue that was holding their relationship together. It's like, we have so much fun with the perks 10s, perk 20s, perk 30s, perk 40s. And now it's like, huh, like, first of all, that shit affected your beauty. Your skin looked dull and dry. You got acne scars. Your eyebrows gone. Your gums black. Lips black. Everything just black. You just look a mess. Like, and this person laying up pregnant. And it's like, you should be glowing. And you just look like post-perk. Like, you just look like a post-perk princess. <laughs> I'm so mean, bro. I don't even be caring sometimes. Like, shit. Fuck it. I be telling the truth, though. So, can't take the heat. Get the about the kitchen. Let's see, why is the Knight of Swords here? Yeah, I'm telling you, this person is done. They done hiding their feelings. They done being quiet and clever about their feelings because I feel like this person was finding subliminal ways to express themselves to you. Now they just want to come out like, fuck it. Because it, like, they ain't getting the subliminal, okay? Y'all, they see you as the one. Like you, They see you as the trophy piece. But somebody else got you. Like, why is this always the storyline, y'all? Let's see, why is the Ace of Pentacles here? This person is reaching out to you about missing an opportunity, seeing if they can reignite the faith, letting you know that you they wish for something. I always wish for you. You was always it. That person was blocking us. They was cock blocking. They was this, they was that. Awakening. Y'all. It's like this person had to wake up to see that you were supposed to be a new love. 
Okay, instead they in they in uh invested in an old love situation, whether it was a reconciliation or somebody that they knew and finally gave a chance to. And it could be their mom that they like it's all your fault too, because this person could have basically guided them towards the swamp rather than the water. Let's see, why is the queen of forces here in reverse? A, somebody that they thought was a loyal friend and this person was a karmic. Oh, this was their woman, okay? So yeah, this person did start off as a friend and they became lovers. So they could have known each other, been friends for two years and finally it's like, so I don't feel like it was no hard feelings, but maybe they was getting to know this person for longer than you. And it was kind of like on a precipice, but it's like spirit kind of brought you in. Like, how about this option? And they was like, no, nah, I'm, you know, I'm gonna stick to what I know, you know? So now they awakening and they like, oh, fuck, Air Sonic was supposed to be my new love. What is going on? How come I didn't see that? That's that rose tinted glasses coming off. Okay, yeah. Now this person feel like they in, they invested in something. They could have did like a courthouse wedding or something. Now they want an annulment or something. Okay, but yeah, it's like somebody could have did some type of courthouse thing. All right, this person might feel like very soon. So yeah, very soon uh, they can be getting charged with something. They could have caught a case. Okay. Doing criminal activity to keep up drug habits and a lifestyle. And meanwhile, you organically obtain the Ten of Pentacles. So y'all about to step into a real legacy. And the thing is, even though y'all chose somebody else, y'all still chose another diviner. So it's like whoever coming into y'all life, yes, y'all will actually have a, a, a starseed child or an earth angel child with this person. And not just perpetuating karmic cycles through having babies with people that we don't belong with for the rest of our life because that is continuing a generational curse because now uh, it's inevitable this is gonna be a broken family they don't love each other no more now that they sober they don't give a damn it's kind of like i mean a girl i feel like this woman is kind of this woman is kind of like uh confident like but they could be confident because they're gonna have a chokehold on this man's wallet whether they stay with them or not so maybe that's all they really wanted but yet it's this, uh, the masculine, it's like they feel like they trusted people. It's like they could have trusted people with advice on who to choose or whatever the case is. Now they feel like the woman was fake, the people was fake, and they all was in cahoots. And it's like, I've been loyal to all of y'all, and y'all just misguided me, mistreated me, tricked me, deluded me, you know? Okay, so damn, yeah, y'all new love. Y'all new love is like really dropping your new love could be really dropping a lump sum on the house we did get dream house energy okay some of y'all could be more on the mature side everything y'all want is coming to fruition everything y'all prayed for because of y'all faith maintaining y'all faith hey man okay y'all i'm telling you somebody know that they went down a destructive path it's like I was not supposed to go down this path. I forfeited my contract with air signs. Ten of Pentacles. Y'all immature men. It's like now this person won't be growing old with you. Some of y'all gonna be growing old with somebody else. One second, y'all. Y'all with this Ten of Pentacles, it's like your hard work is paying off. You getting great fortune because of your hard work. But unfortunately, you have to leave somebody else on a destructive path that they chose. Y'all could be moving, upgrading your home situation. Like, yeah, so something is going to come to an end with a specific home, okay? But y'all upgrading, though. It's like y'all y'all going up from here. It's no downgrade. So really, like this main male, like somebody, yeah, somebody realizing that they self-sabotage themselves by marrying somebody else or not marrying you and possibly having a son with this person. It's like, it's going to be very hard. Like, it's going to be a difficult life. Because this wasn't written. This wasn't written in the Akashic Records, okay? Yeah, this is a tower moment. It's a tower moment for the karmic feminine. Because this masculine don't care no more. They could be getting ready to go to jail. It could be a tower for that feminine. Because a life that she thought she was about to live is going to be brought to an abrupt stop. Because somebody going to jail. So somebody feel like it's some it's all somebody fought that their life is changing in a negative way. Like everything positive could have been going on in this person's life. And now it's just everything negative. Shit, it's just all bad. It's all bad, bro. For real. 
But yeah, y'all, for them, for y'all, everything looks amazing, okay? And it didn't start off that way. And, ba and basically, y'all let y'all faith guide y'all to victory. So that's amazing. All right, peace, y'all.